Pretty cool, right? And this is the game we're going to review today on Peter Herkett with Gadgets Anonymous and the Galaxy Book 2. Hello again, Pietro here. Thanks for clicking on by. So today, follow-up video, video? <laughs> follow-up video for the Samsung Galaxy Book 2 Pro 360. When you pre-order it, you were able to choose a free gift. And I chose this thing, <laughs> the Odyssey G3 Samsung 32 inch gaming monitor. And who doesn't like a new monitor, right? First things first, let's open it. Okay, I do have a top-down camera, but we can't do top-down on that. So let's do this. Okay, it says that's the front. You would think it would be easier. There we go. Step one, we get out of the box. Oh, and it's curved. That's cool. That's really cool. I, I knew it was curved, but until you actually see them. And there we go. Whoa! That's pretty cool. That's really cool. So we'll set that right there. And there's all the stuff. So it comes with a mounting foot. There's the mounting bracket. Comes with a power adapter. So I'm filming on the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3, and then the audio is the Rode Wireless Go. Oh, that's pretty cool. Just kind of clicks right in there and then, nice. What do you think of the monitor, buddy? So we have our little guest here, our faithful German short hair friend. Do you like the monitor? Now the main thing is, so Samsung knew that I pre-ordered this with the Galaxy Book, and I was curious to know if they were gonna send me everything I needed to connect to it. So on the back of the monitor, we have the DC port, we have a service, USB-A, HDMI 1, HDMI 2, a DP, so for a docking station, kind of those fancier ports, and a headphone jack. But the cable that they sent us is just HDMI. So <laughs> unless you have an adapter, you won't be able to use the laptop with the monitor straight out of the box. That's kind of disappointing. Yeah, that's kind of disappointing. And that cap comes off. What do you think, boy? That's kind of cool looking, huh? Kinda. So we need to, there are two screws for that. And then this one just clicks right in. Hopefully you can see that. Boom, that was easy. Then we have the power adapter. What do you think, buddy? Stretch. So that will connect right there. We'll do that in a bit. And there's two tiny screws. You know, we probably want to do that last. Yeah. What do you think? Can you go get me a screwdriver? Phillips head? What do you think? Phillips head. Hey, watch the, watch the, watch the computer stuff. He doesn't care so much about gaming, I'll be honest. Okay, so now we need a Phillips head. BRB. Okay, stay right there. Entertain the folks. I'll be right back. I left the camera going. I left checks in front of it. Hey, 
You were supposed to entertain. Hey, get back there. Get back in front of the camera. You know, if you've ever worked with pets, they're just, it's hard. So someone may or may not be getting a steak tonight. We don't want it wonky or rocking. That's the worst. Have you ever had a monitor that wiggles on the stand? It is not good. We'll just slide that in, clicks in place, and there's your gaming monitor. Huh? What do you think? I think that looks pretty cool. Let's plug it in and see what happens. So it looks like it will tilt. That's good. So if Samsung did not send you a port, a, a port adapter at USB-C, I recommend Anchor. This is an Anchor one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight and one. And it just so happens to have an HDMI. So unlike when you order on Amazon, Amazon always does the, oh, hey, you might want this. Samsung didn't do that when I ordered this, but hey, you know, that's all right. Everyone makes mistakes. Oh, and this is not the HDMI. This is the uh, fancy P port. You need a different one. When you're looking through your box of cables, this is not the one you want, nor is this one. Just old school, original, HDMI to HDMI. And connect. Are you getting excited? I'm getting excited. Oh yeah. So it automatically did a mirror. So we choose extend from the laptop to the monitor. We are in business. Wow. That is a lot of screen real estate. So let's play something, shall we? Now, a lot of people have been asking me, can you game with the Galaxy Book? I'm gonna show you. First, we need to drag this over and we'll click play. So now it's thinking. Give you a front row view here. Okay, so the game is still trying to launch and it seems to be kind of locking up. So the loading time is not fast. <laughs> and I don't know why there, there was sound in my test when I tested this before, but. So those are the graphics on the gaming monitor. Well, the graphics look pretty good if you ask me. There's Chewbacca. I'm gonna need to get a gaming friend over here. We're gonna pause. All right, I got it to work, but I keep on dying. The graphics aren't bad considering, you know, this is such a small tablet and I got the sound to work. I had to plug in external speakers. As you can see the speaker bar right there. Give you a quick demo. Oh, I think I just died. Oh, and I fell. Oh, that's not good. Nope, that's, that's definitely not good. <laughs> but hey, I got it to work. So whether or not, you know, how smooth are the graphics? I, it's working. I don't know how long I could play before this thing overheats. There's your game demo. If I can do a better one with a friend that's a gamer, I'll let you know. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully this answers some questions about the monitor and gaming. I'll let you know what I think of the monitor more in a few days as I use it. <laughs> See you real soon. Goodbye. So I was just finishing that edit and I was exporting and there's more I need to show you. So I did some testing. This is the Galaxy Book 2 Pro 360 and this is the MacBook Air with the M1 chip. This does not connect to the monitor. Maybe if I had a straight port adapter, but trying to use the anchor through HDMI, through USB-C, did not work whatsoever. But check out the back of the monitor. Oh yeah, nice lighting on this Odyssey G3 by Samsung. The bezels are nice and the graphics are quite great when I just switch the whole screen out. So watch this. So we just click this button right there. And now it should push everything. There we go, duplicate. Second screen only. Play the game. Come on, update. 
There we go. And there's a little trick. If you click on the sound right there in the bottom right, well, not a trick, but see right there? You can change it to speakers, real tech, or Samsung HD audio for the display, but there is no speaker on this display monitor. That's why I was having the issues earlier. So that was one thing I wanted to show you. So now we have the sound coming from the laptop and it sounds pretty great. So now we can start. Now I'm gonna die quickly because <laughs> uh, this is the third time I've played this game, but you'll get a good representation of the graphics. So pretty smooth as I look around the game, not glitching at all. There was an update pending. So as I'm running through the game, oh, uh oh, uh oh. So not, not too much lag, I would think. What? Force field? What kind of crap is that? Wow, this is the longest I've lasted in this game. I've made it almost two minutes. Turn, turn. Okay, maybe it, maybe it is lagging now. Yeah, I don't have any training. And I'm dead. Once again though, for such a small device, I think it's doing quite well performance wise. Yeah, the fan's on, it's getting warm, but we're gaming on this 32 inch monitor and that's what the video was about. Well, I hope that answered some more questions. I'm glad I include that part. And that's the end of day one with this monitor. I watched some YouTube movies and some other content and that 32 inch view was amazing. Uh, even even my wife was like, wow, that's, that's a nice monitor. Anyway, pithy comments, type those down below. And yes, let the credits roll for the Paramount Kid. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. We'll just, uh, how do we end this? Because the monitor is so, we'll just end it with my phone. See you soon.